Good morning guys, it's Banded Wendy and it is Thursday the 8th of October and uh, I am happy to report that I have met one of my big goals. As of today, I'm 194 pounds. I started this journey at 244 pounds. My goal is to lose 99 pounds, so 94 and a half would have been 50 pounds gone in my book, uh, would have been 49.5 pounds gone, um, which would be halfway to where I want to be. So anyway, this is me at 194. Hopefully you can see some of me. I actually wore this sweater my very first YouTube video. I don't know if you remember, but ta-da! Getting there. Working on it, guys. So, um, sorry. Sorry about the camera. Um, Excited to share that with you all. Um, your support and encouragement means the world to me. Uh, of course, I've watched everybody's videos. A lot of new people going into being uh, on the loser's bench the next uh, week or two. Very exciting. Um, have fun with it. Um, and I want to mention about that last supper, you know, that last meal. It, it's not the truth. Like, mentally, that's what you're going to go through, and I understand it because I've been there. But I'm here to tell you that you will eat again, and you'll be surprised by some of the things you eat, and that you have to learn how to re-eat. We did not get to the point of making the choice to have weight loss surgery uh, by knowing how to eat and or by doing what we need to do when it comes to food choices. So it's a big mental game, not just physical, um, and it should not be taken lightly. <laughs> um, you're doing... Uh, something that's really awesome for your body and your mind and your spirit and you have to uh, have self-reflection and make new choices and, and gain knowledge and interest um, and awareness about all of the components uh, to be successful. So, and I just take it one day at a time. Um, I also want to talk about uh, my, my next mini goal is to be in the 180s. Um, and my next big uh, goal, which I've already told you all, is to be at 178 by December 31st. So uh, I'm going to keep trucking. Um, I also wanted to talk about, you know, kind of a mindset. Um, you know, I hear people say, oh, I cheated, or a confession. And that's cool. That's a great way to cope with the food choices and decisions that we're making. But I, I really don't think we should consider, for myself, I don't consider it cheating. Um, this is a lifestyle change. So rather than say I cheated or I have a confession I did something bad, it's not bad, right? Because uh, we have to be doing better than we were doing before. And if we're not, then we need to see some type of therapist, uh, nutritional counseling, something. Um, but the choices that we make from the day we get the band all the way out we have to make them smart. And if we go off track, because I've done it, I gained six pounds in six days, right? Um, from eating everything in the world. And, but I didn't beat myself up about it because I knew that I had the ability to make right, the right choices and I was okay with making the right choices. But every once in a while, doing something that's bad or cheating uh, or sinful is okay. This is not a diet. We are not in a race to get to a certain place and then our worlds are perfect. This is something, think about yourself five years out, 10 years out, you changing your life. So um, if we're faced with a situation where we want that you know, ice cream before we go to the bed or we want that uh, nachos from Taco Bell or whatever it is for you, do it, right? But be aware of it. Incorporate the calories and the protein. Know how much that is and what that means to you when you do it. Um, really important uh, because I think if, if we play the game of it's cheating or it's sinful, then that can lead to people um, losing their momentum, um, having self-doubt, uh, having self-negative talk. And that is not supportive or conducive to you achieving your goals. So you do it, you shrug it off, you know what it means, and you move forward. Um, I just want to put that out there. My thoughts. Um, Thanksgiving Day, Sherry Luca, check her out. She's been banded, I think, over a year now or close to it. 
uh, and she gave me the idea of a 5K on Thanksgiving Day, you know, and uh, I made the decision last year, told my boyfriend I cooked everything. And I said, Nick, I'm not, I don't need to cook Thanksgiving dinner ever again um, because he has gastric bypass and he eats little and it was just me and him. <laughs> Um, and so this year, neither one of us eat anything, really. So what are you going to do on Thanksgiving Day? How are you going to handle that? Are you the main person that supports cooking of the meal and feeding a bunch of people? What does that meal look like for you? Uh, can you fit in a 5K walk or a 5K run before or after you eat? Probably before. Um, I know they start really early in the morning. So I got my first 5K this week. If I make that, then I'm going to be inspired by Sherry Luca and... I'm going to do a 5K on Thanksgiving Day, early in the morning. So if I do eat, whatever I do eat, those calories hopefully will be gone. But something to start thinking about because it's just right around the corner. And uh, I know for myself, the holidays all the way through to the new year are always the toughest. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching. That's my morning ramble. Just wanted to check in and let you all know I made it to that 50-pound mark, halfway there, 49 more pounds to go to meet my goal. Woo! Let's see if I can get there. Uh, so have a good one. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.